Okay, let me tell y'all what happened before I get my intro. Found the book that I was looking for. Because I was just about to say, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to start a new video for you. So, hold on. Okay, that just shaved some time off of the intro. Because I was going to display how I didn't mean to do it, but I'm going to have to do it. Start a new book, even though that's not what I want to do. We're not going to do that. Scratch that off the plant. So, what happened was this. I wasn't going to make a video. I was going to just make that one video. I was going to just keep it pushing. And then I was going to get up tomorrow. And I was going to, you know, check in, check, make a, check in, check out, and go on about my day. Because I'm like, this is a job. I want to at least check in once a day. But then I said, squeeze. So then I was on my, so I'm on my YouTube page. Then I'm logged in on my channel. And I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm like, maybe the reason I don't get suggested to myself, my videos don't get suggested to me, is because they are my videos. Even though I have been getting like a hell of good variety of new people now. Like, so I post the videos now, I'm getting all these single YouTubers. All right, cool, cool. I'm going to check them out. But, but then I'm like, okay, let me go on over here. Log it. Let me see. See. Because Elijah watches, because my son, he watches, he watches our videos on his phone. And I'm like, all right, let me, let me see. I'm not being suggested to him either. So I'm not being suggested to the kid. I'm not being suggested to my damn self. So I know I'm not being suggested to you. So if you have stumbled up on this video and you are still watching, I applaud you. Because of <laughs> what? Because you didn't have to. And that's good. And now I'm making this video to piss YouTube off. So, you know, I didn't have to. But I will. <laughs> but yeah, it's your girl, Queen Jones, aka Killer Queen T, aka Black Out T, aka. Did I do all my names, aka? Do I have too fucking many? AKA, come back. I'm not done. We just getting started. Have a seat. God damn it. So I had I had left off on chapter three of my little short book that I think I started three days ago. Boom. Tuesday is called Three Haunted Bathrooms. And I think we'll be able to do two chapters. Tuesday, Herbie met Raymond on the corner as usual. But today he had a book in his hand. What are you reading, Ray? Captain Outrageous by Ruby Kipsters. Is it good? Herbie asked. Never read it. But there are big words in the story. Miss Pinkham would think I'm smart. Herbie shook his head. I don't know about that, Raymond. When they got to school, they met Margie running up the stairs from the girl's bathroom. She looked white as a ghost. They're hiding! She screamed. Huh? Hervey said. What is? Raymond asked. The bathrooms! And then she ran outside. Hervey and Raymond walked downstairs. They peeked in the boys' bathroom. The smell of Clorox and soap filled the air. Mr. Bob was busy mopping up. What happened? Ray asked. The principal just asked me to clean up extra good this morning. He said some kids were passing rumors about the bathrooms being haunted. Oh, they replied. If there are any ghosts around here, this last aisle and Clorox will get them, Mr. Bob smiled. When Mr. Bob left with his bucket, Herbie and Raymond explored. explored. The four styles looked clean. There was nothing on the floor. Hey, Herb, come here. Ray was looking into a tall waste, basket, waste paper basket. What did you find? Ray looked up at him and screamed, Bones! Huh? Harry peered into the basket. Sure enough, there were a bunch of small bones. Harry picked one up. Raymond raced out of the bathroom screaming and shrieking, Harry found human bones! Mrs. Pigment had a hard time getting the class to be quiet. Everyone was talking about the bathrooms. I saw blood on the wall on the girl's bathroom, Margie shouted. Really? John asked. Herbie found him a bones in the boys' bathroom, Ray Skirt yelled out. Before Herbie could say anything, Miss Pinkham loudly clapped her hands. Oh, I cannot clap loud for some odd reason now. Mm, mm, mm. Three times. Enough, she said firmly. Then she cleared her voice and said softly, 
I think, boys and girls, this bathroom business has gotten out of hand. Let's talk about it one by one. Please raise your hands. Annabelle raised her hand. I, I saw the word blah, 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 B-L-O-O-D written in, in blood. How he raised his hands. I found bowls and... I found bones in a waste paper basket. Do you have them? Miss Pinkman asked. One of them. Everyone shrieked. Miss Pink Miss Pinkham clapped her hands again. Hey! Don't make me clap my hands. The shit hurt. <laughs> May I see it? Everyone watched Harvey as he walked up the aisle. Some kids moved away from him as he passed by. Slowly, Harvey pulled something out of his back pocket. Here. Miss Pinkham looked at it. The class turned totally silent. Maggie sneezed. Everyone jumped and looked around. Why? This is a chicken bone. The girls and boys sat back in their seats thinking, Phew. Children, I think this has gone entirely too far. Someone is playing a practical joke and it is not funny. It's time to carry on with our day. I'm not going to the bathroom anymore, Margie blurted out. Me either, John said. Not me, Raymond at it. Miss Pinkman, Miss Pinkham stood up and walked over to the windows. It was beginning to drizzle. You mean to tell me no one will use the bathrooms anymore? It was pin quiet again. Annabelle raised her head very slowly. I, I need to, she said, squirming in her seat. Of course, Annabelle, you may go. We'll carry on as usual. Now that using the bathroom is no longer a big deal. Miss Pinkham asked anyone had something besides bathroom rules for the morning conversation. Is anyone reading a good book, she asked. Harvey raised his hand. I'm on chapter 5 in Charlotte's Web. It's good, especially the part where Charlotte rolls a fly in jets of silk. Miss Pinkham smiled. You like spiders? Harvey nodded. Raymond clears his throat and raised his hand. I just finished Captain Outrageous by Ruby Kipsters. Miss Pinkham looked amused. You mean Captain Kurt K- K- Curious by Rubyard Kipling. That's a difficult book for a third grader. Did you read the whole thing? Twice. The teacher sat on her desk and crossed her legs. Maybe you could tell the class what it's about. Harry begins to feel uncomfortable. His friend was in for it now. Well, Raymond moved around in his chair. There was this guy named Captain Outwage Rages, and he eats energy pills and flies around. And save ships before they sink. All the kids was off, were half off their seats listening. Just before he saves the ship, he shouts, We're here! Miss Pinkham folded her arms. If you really read the book, Raymond, you would have known that We're Here was the name of the ship and there were no energy pills mentioned in the whole story. Raymond squirms tomorrow in his chair. Well, Miss Pinkham, Maybe I did miss a thing or two. Uh, speed readers go through things awful fast. The teacher drummed her fingers on the desktop. Well, Raymond, you speed readers had better slow down a bit. It was time now, Miss Pink- Miss Pinkham said, to start a penmanship lesson. The students were to copy a poem off the board as neatly as possible. Five minutes later, Harvey walked quietly up to the teacher's desk. She was recording spelling grades in her little black book. I'm glad you got another hundred, Herbie, she whispered when she saw him. Well, I kind of have a system about studying and spelling, he smiled. Ah, uh, Miss Pinkham, I was wondering. Yes, Herbie, she whispered. Annabelle's not back yet from downstairs. Miss Pinkham turned white. Oh, my goodness, she said ever so softly. Will you go down and check on her? I don't want to bring the shuttle up again. The class has finally settled down. Sure. Harvey walked quietly out of the room. I'm glad he noticed because it didn't seem like nobody else did. <laughs> Harvey walked quietly out of the room. When he got halfway down the hall, he stopped. Check on Annabelle. That meant peeking into the girl's bathroom. He had to do it. Miss Pinkham needed him. If she asked someone else, everyone was, everyone else was screaming stuff. Harvey pre- proceeded down the stairs slowly. First, he checked to see if anyone was using the boys' bathroom. He saw two kindergarten boys drying their hands. After they left, no one was in the boys' bathroom. 
Harry quietly tiptoed across the hall to the girl's bathroom. Anna? Annabelle, he called. No one responded. Annabelle! He shouted. I'm in here. A soft voice called back. Are you okay? I can't move. Huh? Harry was glad the girl glad the door on the girl's bathroom was propped open. He could peek in and see if she was okay without actually going in. I'm too scared. Harvey did it. He peeked around the door. <laughs> well, I said it like he had accomplished the business. Like, like the teacher did not just send him down here to go get the girl. He went down there like, I'm here. All right. I'm going to the bathroom. Nope, not going to go in there. I'm going to the bathroom. Not going to go in there. <sighs> teacher did tell me to go in here. I hate. I'm in this bitch. <laughs> Annabelle was standing at the end of the girl's bathroom in the corner. Frozen stiff. Just come on out. Miss Pinkham sent me to get you, sent me to get you. I I can't move. The bathroom ghost will get me. Don't be silly. That's a big joke. Remember those bones? They were chicken bones. Just walk out. Annabelle didn't move an inch. It says the ghost is here in blood. Had Harvey glance at the side wall. That's probably red fingernail polish. It looks like the kind my, my sister used. Come on out, Annabelle. When he didn't hear anything, Harvey said finally. I'm coming in! He said it loud like Genesis do, just in case someone is still in there. I come in where? He was already in the bathroom. He had already walked into the girl's bathroom. Coming in where? She wasn't standing in the damn stall. I'm so confused. <laughs> Whatever. He waited a full minute, then stormed in, grabbed Annabelle's arm, and raced back into the central hallway. Oh, okay. He wasn't actually in the bathroom. He was in the hallway leading to the bathroom. So when he they said he came in, he went, like, into the girl hallway. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. He wasn't actually in the bathroom part with the girl. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's my fault. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Annabelle breathed more, much more easily. Harvey, weren't you afraid? Of course I was. A boy's not... A boy's not... So, supposed to be in the girl's bathroom but there was scary stuff in there she added i'm not afraid of fingernail polish or chicken bones you're not annabelle said with eye and high voice nah it's nothing herbie shrugs annabelle stared at herbie she thought his cow look was kind of cute let's get going herbie said annabelle followed him up the stairs see now she got that she got that um hero complex and shit like oh he just saved me he saved me. Oh, he, you know, now that I look at him, he is cute. His hair, the way you fall on his face like that, it is so cute. Now, chapter four, the little room down the hall. Wednesday morning, Miss Pingham called Harvey up to her desk. The rest of the class were copying over stories they had written. Harvey, I'm going to send you down the hall to see the reading supervisor, Miss Mick Duramat. Where is she? Herbie said, wasn't sure what down the hall meant. In a little room at the very end of the hall, there will be a woman inside wearing a red dress. Why does this sound like a horror movie? Harvey took his time walking down the hall. He wondered what a lady in a red dress would want to see him about. He had a friend once who stuttered and saw a speech lady in a small room, but he didn't stutter. Maybe he was going to have his eyes and ears checked, but then the lady would probably be wearing white. No, Herbie thought, if it were a reading supervisor, this definitely has nothing to do with reading. When he came to the little room, Mrs. McDermott said hello and asked him to come in and sit down. Harvey did what she said and then folded his hands. He didn't want to get into trouble. Your teacher, Miss Pingham, tells me how well you read orally. You never miss a word. Harvey put his head behind his hands behind his head and smiled. And she tells me how you read books on your own. Herbie nodded, mostly about spiders. But these worksheets and work pages are something to be concerned about. Eight wrong, nine wrong, five wrong, ten wrong. Goodness, what's happening? Herbie shrugged his shoulders, then looked down at the cracks and the wooden floor. Can you tell me about the short the sound the short A makes? Herbie made a sound, but it wasn't a short A. It was more like a gargling sound. Short O? Harvey rolled his lips and made a sound like a ghost. He knew it wasn't right either. How how do you say BL? 
Okay, I might get copyrighted because I get, get it back in blood. Just this, like blood and blue and blizzard. That's fine, Herbie. Mix McDermott put a long list of vocabulary words in front of him. Now, Herbie, I would like to hear you read as many of these words as you can. Herbie started with the first one, book, and kept going to the bottom word, permission. He read everyone correctly. You read nicely, Herbie. Thank you. Maybe these skill sheets just don't interest you. Miss McDermott clutched half a dozen papers in her hand. What do you like to do in language arts? Read. Herbie noticed that there was a bug crawling toward her open-toed shoe. Well, I want to give you a few stories to read, and then I'm going to have you answer some questions about them. Okay. Ooh. The bug went into her shoe. Ooh. Okay, Herbie. Mrs. McDermott repeated, fine. After 45 minutes of testing, Herbie stood up. Will I still be in the apples? Apples? That's the name of my reading group. We'll see, Herbie. I'm going to have a conference with your teacher about it. Okay. I don't think we should take him out of apples. At lunchtime, Raymond didn't feel like eating his tuna sandwich. It reminded him of pink salmon. Want it, Herbie? Sure. I hate eggs. Here. The boy switched sandwiches. Raymond still frowned. What's the matter with you? Herbie asked. I'm probably going to be the only boy in the apples. Herbie sicked his milk. Now, Raymond, I just said she gave me a test. I don't know if I passed it or not. You did. I know. You read words a lot better than I do. It was hard for Herbie to say anything. It was simply true what Raymond said. We'll both get out of the apples, Herbie said. I just know that. I actually was supposed to give y'all something else, but I just want to talk. Let's just talk. Let's just ramble on. Let's have the rest of this be a filler. You like, squeeze, what are you gonna talk about? So what I, what I'm watching right now, let's talk about what I'm watching right now. Um, let's talk about what I'm watching right now. And um the fakeness of YouTubers. Like, like these YouTubers be like, like how am I supposed to, what am I supposed to believe? Is everything on your channel fake? Is everything on your channel real? Like, is half of it fake? Half of it real? Like, am I getting to know the real you? Or am I getting to know what you want to present to the world? That's why I'd be like, listen, if you see a video on this channel, if you see multiple videos on this channel, just know that it's not for you. It, it's not even for me. It's just to piss YouTube off. YouTube be annoying the shit out of me. So, I, you know what? I post videos to piss them the fuck off. Because at the end of the day, whenever I fucking post a video, YouTube don't know if they want to tell you this that this video was posted today or if this video was posted yesterday. Or if the video I posted today was posted tomorrow. You don't know. I post this video today and then I go back on there and it, it says, oh, YouTube's like, oh, no, you didn't post this video today. You posted this bitch two days ago. And I'm just sitting here at my looking at the computer like, no, I didn't. I just posted this bitch. What are you talking about, YouTube? <laughs> I'm just like, when you don't even get, when you, when you're not even getting, when the algorithm is so fucked up that it's not even suggesting you to your damn self. Damn, YouTube. I made the video. What, you think I don't want to watch my own video? Well, according to YouTube, nope. <laughs> you still like, look, bitch, you don't got enough views, you don't got enough followers, you don't got enough subscribers. I don't know what the fuck you want from us. We cannot put you not even on your own shit or your kid shit. So, I don't know. I got, I need another minute. Oh, so I was literally... About to tell y'all, y'all need to go over there and investigate in prime time. But then I was just watching this video, and y'all just like, fuck it. I, not, 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 not saying that, you know, we really gave a fuck, but you know, to be nosy. See if the video would get made, shit. If we asked enough questions, if we said, if we asked why it was in it, now that I'm sitting, now I'm watching this shit. <sighs> I don't know, maybe maybe baby boy is just like toxic toxicity. He don't look like he likes toxicity, but ooh, maybe maybe that's his thing. I don't know. 
It's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's giving me, I don't know, vibes. Is this, y'all, like, is this something you you don't have an opinion about? I didn't say I didn't have no opinion about it. It's just, it feels weird to give your opinion about it when you don't have all the facts. And the people that are involved refuse to give you any fucking thing. It's one, it's the one fucking time we need this man to, like, clickbait us with these blank ass titles. And with these these titles that we know he not even gonna discuss in the video. And he's like, hey, don't get no fuck. Not gonna discuss it. And I'm like, you see that? Keep my fucking hand up. Okay. <clears throat> Since I'm over here talking about motherfuckers, you know, doing shit. I don't know. I don't know. I just felt like it was too many writers being involved. I, I felt like I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't keep up. Don't worry. I clicked on every video. you like, but the queen, she says you couldn't keep up. I couldn't keep up. That don't mean I didn't watch. I was fucking bored. I needed something to do past the time. And I watched. I had to click. I was like, yes, let me check it out. Click, click, click on this video. And I watched the video. And I was like, but then before the video dropped, I watched um, another video where he had, well, they was supposed to be teaming up, making it seem like they was messing around on um, the boyfriend. And then he caught the boyfriend and they switched it up. So once I seen, once I seen that video, once I seen that video, then I was like, okay, well, maybe this is what this is. And now this is on her. And it's gonna take a minute to come out since it is on her channel and they not and they not on her channel. But then at the same time, I'm still like these still light skinned these still light skinned is trying to make it make it make it. Cause what happened to cause what happened to the where the storyline was first going? What well, how you just how you tell us okay I'm gonna give you skitty I'm gonna give you skitty pranks and then say you ain't give us no skitty well but the but the whole thing was from a skitty prank. And the whole calling him her the brother thing, that was already, already a little iffy. I already should have seen that was going to be a turnabout. I was like, but then I was like, but then that, ah, that's the whole thing. It's like, for a skinny prank, you got enough room in there for somebody to turn to slip in a real prank. So you don't know if it's a skit or if it's a prank. Mm -hmm. Not that we put much thought into it. I don't really, me, myself, personally, I don't give a fuck whether the prank be real or fake. As long as, because at the end of the day, as long as you have a mutual understanding, because you don't want to attack each other online. Shit, you got to be a team. You got to stand together. <laughs> and you don't want to cross the lines, because if you cross the lines, you blur the line for the fans, and the shit just get iffy and funny. Don't worry, y'all. Y'all not going to see no pranks from over here, because um, it's just little old me. By my mom, mom, by my mom, 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 by my mom, 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 do by myself over here getting on damn YouTube nerves because oh, that's why the, that's the other fucking reason why I'm here, y'all. That's the other motherfucking reason why I am motherfucking here. So, now mind you, I told y'all that YouTube, yes, I have the rhythm. I'm gonna go ahead and snitch on your ass, so you better let this video get posted because if you don't, I'm gonna come after that ass. You hear me? Okay, now that I got the shit straight, the system. You know what? I ain't even gonna snitch on their ass because I don't want their ass to they gotta already be <laughs> the system already be on that shits with me. They be on the shits with me. So I'm gonna just go ahead and not point out how I, how I know it's they flaky ass. But just know that this that today, second video was not dark that oh I'm gonna do this for the people. I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do this for me. I just fuck it. Cause actually if I did it, if I did it for the people, I wouldn't cuss. But if I did it for me, I would cuss all the, just all, every other word, cause it's for me. But it's not for me, and it's not for y'all. I'm just, I'm just giving you what the government is allowing me to give y'all. With the government, cause if the government really didn't want me to give it to y'all, even if I said nothing that offended nobody, the government would still flag this. So if you're watching this video right now, just know that the government is not against us. Well, not at this moment.
Not right now. Now I can't I can't leave town for like tomorrow. But right now, at this exact second, the government said we good. We a Gucci. YouTube has sent me an email letting me know that whatever BS they was on with me before now, that they're not on with me no more. Now, 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 I had to say some, I, you know, you're like, I had to say some shit to YouTube. <laughs> and I ain't gonna stop, you know. You know, sometimes YouTube is like, okay, you're a nobody, so put your name on this wham wagon and write it out. And I'm just like, okay, YouTube, are you sure? And they're like, hey, you seen this as an ad, and I, so you know we promote this type of shit. You gonna do this or you're not? And I'm like, look, YouTube, I am not, you will not try to make me into a butterfly. I will stay a caterpillar if, 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 if that is the fuck what's popping off here. I always trying to make you look like everybody else. See, that's the fucking problem. I want to be different. I want to be unique. And bitch, I don't want to be a butterfly. Okay, YouTube? So stop trying to give me wings and make me sprout. Because that's what the fuck be popping off. You don't even know. It's all these fucking YouTubers around you in real motherfucking life, in real fucking time. And then YouTube is like, uh, let me give you these people you could probably collab with. <laughs> like, yeah. you Did you know that there was a YouTuber here and here in Chicago? And you're like, nope. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> YouTube, leave me alone. Let me be single. Like, you think it's, it's not just... Y'all gonna cover me. But for real though, it's not it's not just the universe. Like nobody wants you to be fucking single. The universe doesn't want you to be single. Apparently not even fucking YouTube wants you to be fucking single. <sighs> anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I somehow made this video 27 minutes. Lots of filler in the end. I apologize.